Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about the UI, the brand new UI. Uh, it, it looks really cool and everything. So let's go ahead and dive right in and do it and talk about the differences, talk about things I've noticed. Looked, I've played around with it a little bit and I've noticed a couple issues in it. So we'll talk about those things too. And let's just go ahead and jump right into it then. Um, as you guys can see, we are definitely in the inventory and the crafting menu and everything. And it's looking fantastic. It looks really cool. I actually enjoy now a lot more the inventory. If you go into the inventory for crafting, so if I've got my inventory in here and you hit that right stick in if you're on Xbox, uh, or left stick, I apologize, you guys can see those names jump in and out. Even with the names on, it's really not as bad as it was. If you remember back, if you check a bunch of my older videos, you can see that the name covers it pretty badly. And now it doesn't really do that anymore. So it's kind of really nice. I love the new uh, point system down here and the XP and how it looks and how clean everything looks. It just looks so much easier. Um, you guys can see that you've got right, you got all the buttons on the top. It tells you where everything is up on the top and right. And uh, I do like that the engrams are their own little separate thing. You can just do left and right bumper, which is really nice. You guys can jump around and see what's going on here. You can check your explorer notes. You can check all that stuff. It's it's really nifty. Um, I do need to finish up my explorer notes again because I did lose my T-Rex skin. Uh, so I need to go get those new 21s uh, for the island. So we'll get those here soon. But you guys can see there's all kinds of uh, new things on here. Um, I just wanted to kind of give a good overview of what's happening and everything the the i think down on the bottom it looks really nice too the quick slots they look really 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 good the new icons to do things take a little bit of getting used to uh, you have to kind of switch up your folder view and all that kind of stuff your crafting goes into the folder view which i do enjoy i do do it without it i sometimes i do it with it it all depends on what you're doing and everything and how you're playing the game so it's really not too worrisome here I also wanted to go around and show you guys a couple things. Um, if you notice all the fonts changed on everything, I feel like it's very, very easy to see stuff now. I think it looks a lot better to see stuff. Um, I do wish still on Xbox that they would move that hold for more options thing and they would move that a little bit uh, up or something of that nature. I think that's really the only thing I really don't like still is, is how that covers half the, the text unless you stand you know, so far away that you can just see it. And you can kind of see how everything's pin coded and stuff, but if you get too close, it goes over it. So you have to like stand back to see if stuff's pin coded, which you know is it is what it is, and you really can't change that stuff. And it's really not going to change anything. Um, one of the things I did notice is I just want to go ahead and jump into some of these smithies and stuff, so you guys can see them. They also all, all they've always been in the folders, but they kind of give us a, a new look here now on this stuff. But uh, the one thing I did notice is if we can see, we got this fabricator right here. It's got gas in it. Before, you used to be able to hit start to fire it up. I'm tapping start right now, and it doesn't fire it up. You actually either have to hit either A to turn on, or you have to hit the Y button when it's in there for Xbox specifically. So uh, that is one thing I don't like anymore is that I have to hit that start button and everything, and I don't like it as much. Uh, I, other than that, it's actually very enjoyable, I think. Um, I, I do like how... You know how clean everything looks in there. You can look at the structure. You can switch back and forth. So now you guys can change your gear while you're in a item, uh, a smithy or anything. So you can just jump back and forth on the top, which is really, really nice. Because then if I wanted to take my gear off and then I wanted to throw it in the structure, I can do that. And then I can repair it or whatever I need to do. Then I tap it again. I pull it out. I switch back to myself, and I should be able to get it back in, uh, as I mean, you can't double tap because you're still in the inventory, uh, but you can uh, re-equip it a lot easier than it used to be, you know, at least you can have the option to switch between the two, which is very, very nice in my opinion, and as I said, if you guys want to, you can more than welcome to just go ahead and turn off all those images and all those face icons with the glow behind it depending on what quality it is and everything. I, I, It's up to you if you like it or not. I personally do like it. I like the names on there. It just helps me a little bit when I'm looking at stuff, so I'm not as hunting for it as much. It's it's easier for me to read, because sometimes when you go into your saddle bins, it can be a little rough. Specifically, I'll go ahead and jump in there real quick. Uh, you can kind of tell what they are, but now if I did this, you kind of be looking at a lot of them going, hmm, which one's a scorpion saddle? And then you have to pull them open. You can tell which one's a scorpion saddle, it's Brontos, but some of these small ones like the Fiomia and the Anklio, they just get a little uh, the same to me. Um, I'm sure if you've you've really sat here and played like this, I'm sure you get used to which ones are which, but 
I just like the names on there personally. That's just my personal opinion. It's up to you guys. So that's what that looks like. Um, I do have, I believe I have motion blur on right now. So let's go ahead and jump off that motion blur real quick on here. Uh, let me go ahead and close that out real quick. I apologize for that, guys. Um, and hopefully they don't jump in there or anything real quick. Um, but you guys can see the difference. The motion blur is back on. You can see the difference. There's really not as much of a difference anymore with that motion blur. I forgot to save is actually what it is. Um, let's go ahead and put that motion blur black on. You guys can kind of see the difference there. Uh, I don't think it's as dramatic as it used to be with the motion blur on and off. I'm, I'm still going to leave it off, obviously, because it's very nice to do. Uh, so you guys can see that, you know, you can see the difference. It's there, but it's up to you how you like it. If you like motion blur, I think it's one of those, if you like motion blur, you want it on. If it's not motion blur, you want it off. So, But basically, guys, that's kind of the UI update. I was really looking around and looking at stuff and trying to pay attention to stuff and trying to see different things. Uh, we do have, uh, we are starting up our little area where we can put stuff. You guys can see here, let's, I had a couple levels in this I wanted to throw in here. Uh, we did get the flyer nerf on Xbox, so things aren't as fast as they used to be. Uh, which is kind of exciting to me. I'm really excited about that and, and where it's going to go. You guys can hear the new the new sounds, all the new dinos, all the cool stuff, uh, the glitching plants. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, but you guys can see this is the fastest teardown to go. And that's going to be it, guys. guys. Um, so we're going to be having a lot of updates today, so you guys will see a lot of images. This is going to be one of the shortest ones because of the necessary requirements for what it is. It's just a UI update. But I think it works out really well. Yeah, everything works the same for the most part. Um, and it's just, as I said, you can kind of continue to jump through stuff. Uh, you can see the ancestors down at the bottom. It's, I think, overall, it's a very good a, a very good image for you guys to be working on and everything. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope uh, the new uh, UI is to your liking and everything. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. Uh, everyone have a great day.